so I think the last day of proper adventure filming for us was the was the cycling um, up around the the drier area from Daifleur. The Kuru. We cannot pronounce African places. Yeah, so we made it to Davo. I can't even say it. I can't roll the R's you like just that. Go. It sounds pretty cool, but unable to I do can't it. Say it. I'm sorry. But we made it to Dive Vlog and the G spot. I found the G spot. Who was navigating? I found the I G. I found the G spot. She you, found it. I, you were driving. I think you'd I rather that I'd be the one that found it. But just I, some context for you. The G spot is a cafe in the middle of nowhere. Angie's G spot. It's called Angie's G spot. Has a name. It's this really hypersexualized biker's bar, like a pub. In the middle of nowhere. There's no. It's not powered by electricity. In Davlog. It's all generator run. Um, they have to fire up the generator to take our credit card payment. And oh, well, that was great. I've never had anybody say, "Just a moment, I got to turn the generator on to run your credit card." We're in Angie's G-Spot, South Africa, up to the bar here waiting for teams and came across this amazing jug to drink out of. Boar's tusk and a mortar shell. And this mortar shell is, I don't have my beer in it anymore. It looks like to me, for all of my uh, friends out there in the military, a 25 PR MK2-1 from 1963. And it says 11 MK on here. Not quite sure. A bunch of other numbers. Lot 6 MC. I bet you Brent or somebody out there knows what that is. Maybe Dana. They've got these signs in the bar that will say things like, sexual harassment will not be reported, but it will be graded. There's this great couple who own it, and it's great. It's great old guy with the white beard. This is your place here, and you have this entire race descending upon it. Yeah. And uh, um, can you tell us about, a little bit about what this place is? Where are you? Well, we started off as an overnight uh, motorbike, you know, stopover place for guys and doing adventure biking, etc. And it's um, since evolved into, well, things much bigger, you know, getting guys like you coming through, which is only a pleasure. It's gone from our little hobby into a, a, a much more busier hobby. <laughs> We've got no electricity, we have no services, we have nothing, we supply everything for ourselves and uh, yeah I think we just have what outdoor people you know look for in life. And you, so you have quite a collection of interesting things in there, is that your collection? Or? Yeah, they're just things we've accumulated over the years and you know friends have brought and etc. So yeah. Uh, Any broken bicycles, we'll hang them up here for you. <laughs> so this is a this is a proper burger. This has been handmade uh, out in the kitchen at the back here, and patty's been handmade. The the bun's been handmade. All fresh fruit and veggies on this. This is no fruit, sorry. How they cook it? Oh, they cooked it on a. I guess some of these questions you throw me off, Eric. It's a bit big. Good though. So the, the crew is in the Angie's G spot here in what is this area of Africa? The Fluch. The Fluch, Africa. Um, we kind of the middle of nowhere, kind of tiny. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, and so we stopped in for some food. This is along the raceway. And we find these really fun, unique places all around the world, and this is one of them. And uh, your name? Peter. Peter. He, uh, he's going to make us some food and some coffee. And uh, I ordered coffee, but I was warned that this is South African coffee. Yeah, which called is... Moor coffee. Say it again? Moor coffee. And what makes it unique in uh, South African? It's um, like oh, almost like mountain coffee. It, uh, yeah, it's... Um, you boil it together with uh, hot water. You get you get the the coffee. You pour it in a in a boiling water until it cooks, cooks until it's um, um, pulled in. And you pour it with it with a sip in the cup. 
So you boil the grounds in dire directly in the water? Yeah, it's okay. Ah, so back in the States, we call this cowboy coffee. Cowboy coffee, that's yeah. okay. And then we take a handful of snow and we drop it in there and that causes all the grounds to drop to the bottom. Yeah. And then we can pour the coffee off the top. So yeah. South African so, cowboy coffee. That's it, that's it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Actually, this is funny. We moved on and, and we were filming the bikers on this road. Mountain bikers. Mount, mountain bikers, like pedals. Um, <laughs> We have a bit of a driving issue here with the two, between the two. No, we don't have a driving well, issue. This is, this she is, has a driving no, issue. Hang on. Eric is from America, and so used, used to driving on the other side of the road. Um, correct side. Correct side of the road. Well, whatever. The other side. Correct side. Doesn't look too correct when you, like, turn into the oncoming traffic. So he is used to the other side of the road. However, can drive a stick. I cannot drive a stick, but I'm used to driving on this side of the road. So we have the worst possible combination of driving skills. Yeah, I've gone head on with semis two or three times now. It's a little bit frightening, but what is probably just as frightening is my inability to get out of first gear. I gotta hang out of the car and do this gliding shot. And what happens is you gotta be smooth when you do it. The driver has to be smooth. I almost got tossed out of the car by popping the clutch and peeling out. Slow up, let him catch you. Keep slowing. They're going uphill a little bit, so slow up. We'll just put the clutch in and let it coast. Put the clutch in. There you go. That's how you slow it. Now let the clutch out before you stall. So I said, all right, Eric, what am I doing wrong in first? All right, let's give you a lesson on first gear. We got to get her out of first gear. She's good at the other gears, but I need it smoother for my filming. So Alice, this is a lesson number two for Vivian. Manual automatic, right. or, excuse me, manual transmission. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, what's the lesson? Well, put the, you got the clutch in? Yeah. Okay, take your foot off the brake. Let the clutch out. Now put the brake back on. As soon as you take your foot off the brake, you've got to let that clutch out. Let it out. You don't have to let out slow. Let it out. Just let it out, but smooth. At the same smoothness you put the gas in. Okay, yeah, let's try I assume this is going to be in first. Yeah, yeah, get that in first. Okay, now. Clutch, uh, gas, clutch. Ow, ow, ow. Nope, okay, stop, that was not bad. Okay, try it again. And, okay, let out faster. Oh, yeah. we got it, there we are, do it again, stop. Okay, and, okay, out. Yeah, pretty good, that's on the hill even. All right. Now your money, woohoo, we're fine. I'm hanging out the bloody door here, hello. And we got that sorted out and she did all right after she figured out that slow meant smooth. She got it sorted out. We're able to follow the bikers, get some really nice shots. And what's really nice about building the crew every time we come into a country, as we mentioned, we get to bring on these different assets and these great personalities. And while we were out there, Simon was over on the other side filming herds of ostriches with his drone as they passed through bikers. Uh, this is one of the coolest uh, shots I've seen when we reviewed it that night. Beautiful. Jurassic Park. So I've never seen so many ostriches, even on the BBC. 